Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time, so this is the third part of my stealth takedown mechanic video. And uh, this time what I'm going to do is I can, so this is the problem. When I sneak from behind, it is okay to activate the takedown function. But when I, when this guy has seen me, it shouldn't activate the takedown function. Because this guy has seen me and I should not be able to take him down silently. So that's the problem I'm going to fix today. And something happened. What is that? Some bug, I guess. Okay, it's right. So, right. Okay, uh, let's get started. And uh, first, I'll open my character. This is the player character. And let me yeah this is the place that i activate take down function so here i check uh, only if the overlapping character is an enemy so here not only that i should also also check if that enemy is in an alert state so how can i check that well let me open the ai blueprint which drives that ai character so this is the ai blueprint and here i have sight and hearing events so here when this guy see me or when he is in in alert yes I have this scene variable so I think I can use this variable to determine whether the AI character is in alert mode or not so first I define a new method in BPI AI which is the blueprint interface I am using to define AI related functions so here I define a new method on alert so this this must return true if the character is in alert and the default uh, value of the return value should be false so I'll implement that here and now I got that function under interfaces on alert so I'll for now I need only this scene variable so if that character has seen an enemy that means he is in alert state okay so but the uh, now this is in AI blueprint but here what we are getting is uh, the character blueprint as an actor so how do we call this AI AI blueprint interface function through the actor for that I'm gonna have to define a new interface method under my character that con my enemy character which is this one actually here I have already defined attack in variable and in attack mode variable so maybe I don't need that this one after all actually I forgot about these two variables so that's why I implement it here okay no problem so so this 
to access these variables also I need to have a blueprint interface function but uh, yeah this is uh, this ch enemy blueprint character blueprint is an child of this ch human blueprint and this ch human blueprint implements this bpi character and bpi damageable interfaces under bpi character i'll again define a new method new function called uh, on alert so i'll put it under fight and to prevent any confusions i'll rename this function into on alert ai now i'll put yes on alert ai so that i wouldn't be uh, by mistake i wouldn't use this function instead of that function i defined under bpi character and this one should also have the boolean return variable like this and where do i implement that i should get that here on alert but uh, this ch human character does not have these two variables so but i don't have that interface methods to implement right here as in this ch human character so maybe i should be able to override them here override this on alert function like this let's check yes we have this on alert function right here and i don't need this part i need only this part and instead of this return value i should use this one or this one actually if this guy is attacking then definitely he is in attack mode so i don't need to do an o here so i just i'll just use this one as i remember that's the way i have implemented that let's check okay now the part that we have to do in ch enemy is done then i'll go back to ch player and here i'll check that on alert like this and this must be true and this must be false so i'll get the not of this not in alert and an enemy so this overlapping character should be an enemy and also not in alert state so like this i can check that condition now i think we can check that so first test case i had to do is uh, I, I am i still able to go behind and activate yes that's working and the next thing i should check is when i'm going in front of this guy like if this guy has seen me i should not get that takedown notification but I am still getting that. Why is that? Okay. Now he is attacking me. And yeah. Now I am not getting that. Right. The problem is. Even if that guy has seen me. I was not in attack mode. So again. I can't rely on this variable. Because. 
this does not always this is not always true even if that the enemy has seen me so I have to use this function not this one this one and what was that uh, maybe I got this because I renamed it okay I'll re-implement that right so I have to use this so I will use this function inside here so I can access the AI do I already have a reference to AI let's check no no okay so I'll get I think I should be able to access it like this this get AI controller self or can I access it like this get controller just controller I don't need this to and is no on alert I'll delete this one because I don't need that okay let's check again okay now he's in alert mode and yeah I'm not getting that notification even if I am overlapping with that character so let's check let's try from behind okay now I'm getting that right so the problem is fixed and do I have any more problems maybe yes let's check this when I perform the takedown while I perform in the takedown if I press the attack button that animation should be overridden and I should have some problems okay. okay so that's actually that's not a problem because yeah if I'm performing the takedown and if I press the attack it will simply override so I don't have any problems after that like stuck in the same place uh, like we had before so yeah that's not a problem okay I hope everything is clear to you if not please let me know in the comments and that's all I'm gonna do for today in the next episodes um, actually I haven't thought about what to do next okay let's see and see you in the next episode and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support also if you want to support my work you can go to patreon.com till no primary i'll put the link in the description below and you can get the membership of my patreon page and also if you get the membership you will have access to the project files and other articles tips and everything related to game development and the project i am doing all right see you in the next episode goodbye